Hello and welcome back Ayn. In this episode we will discuss what to do prior to starting a class. This is very important. When you start a class you will need to remind the class of a previous lesson. The reason is to activate thinking and to remind the class of previous lessons. Always try to have one lesson lead into the next. For example use the present tense one day and then use the future tense the next. The students can relate to the lesson easier. For example, yesterday we were talking about the continuous. I was sitting. But if you were to talk about yesterday what do you think we would say? I sat. Then you would ask questions. What are you doing? I am sitting. Where did you sit yesterday? I sat here. Begin the class with questions about yesterday's lesson and mix it in with the day's lesson with an explanation of the reason behind what the students will learn. If the students have an understanding and the reason for the lesson it will allow the students to learn better and easier. Students want structure and a point for a lesson. One THNG you may want to do is to place pictures of people on the board. Famous people who are teachers, for example, and have the students guess what they have in common. This will get them talking and you can start the lesson. One lesson I did with fifth graders was to have them write all the musical instruments they can think of. After a minute, I would write the results on a board. I then would ask the class what a pipe, a recorder, was and show them. I would ask questions about the sound if they seen one, etc. Then I would tell them it has magical powers. Then I would show them the Pied Piper of Hamlin. When I was done I would ask the class what the video was about and the moral to the story. While the pre-activity had nothing to do with the moral. It was to get them to think and draw them into the lesson. Lastly, I would have them write a short essay about the meaning behind the story. When you start the activity you must ask questions to ensure understanding. Never ask, do you understand? Because the students will say yes, and then raise their hands to ask what they are doing. Open-ended questions should be asked. Such as what page are we on? What is the first thing you do? What is the topic? This is the only way you will understand if the students understand the lesson. You can also write the directions on the board and explain if you must step by step. Then ask questions. There will always be that one student who will be daydreaming that will miss the first, second and third rounds of explanation and still be mad at you for not explaining the lesson. Explain ask and explain again. Lastly, when you explain point, walk the students through it, repeat. But this time try to have the students explain to you the steps. When they get stuck give them the answer and go to the next step. Repeat the lesson the board until you feel confident they can do the work on their own. Then have them do the worksheet. Walk around and check for mistakes. Answer questions then review. When you review answer the questions that the students got wrong and do another lesson focused upon the errors in the future. That is all the time we have for today. I hope to see you in the next episode.